Okay, chapter 11. Okay, 5.1a and 5.1b shows two action of antibodies on antigen. Okay, so you have a different action over here. Name the cell in the body that produces antibodies. The one that can produce antibodies is the strongest white blood cell. What is the strongest white blood cell here called? The strongest white blood cell is called what? The strongest white blood cell. It is known as lymphocytes. Very good. It's called lymphocytes. It's the one that produces white blood cell lymphocytes. Okay, next. 5.1, name the action of antibodies on antigen 5.1a and 5.1b. If you look at 5.1a, you can see that they break down the antigen, right? So the breaking down process within the 5 action is what? The breakdown process is called? Uh, it's called what? It's called lysis. Very good. So this is lysis. Lysis. It's called lysis. 5.1b. Okay, they stick together. Okay, all of these things, they stick together. If they stick together, it's called what? They glue together. It's called agglutination. Agglutination. Usually, they will only ask these two like, most of the time. Agglutination. Next question. 5.2 5.2 shows an information about a Pfizer BioNTech vaccine under National COVID-19 Immunization Program. 80% of national population will be inoculated in the biggest if vaccination exercise in Malaysia. So everybody go for vaccination. Name the type of immunity obtained by injection vaccine to your body. We will only inject two things in our body. The first thing is vaccine. The other thing is called anti-serum. So if you want to write the type of immunity, what is this type called? You inject means you get it from other people. Other people means it has to be artificially, means injection, right? You, you inject, but you produce your own antibodies is actively. You produce your own antibodies is actively because what is vaccine? Vaccine is a weakened or dead pathogen. Okay, weakened or dead pathogen, we call this as vaccine. So if you want to produce, if you want to take this vaccine, you have to produce your own antibodies. This is called artificially active immunity. Artificially active immunity. Okay, artificially active immunity. Explain why an individual is required to take a second dose of vaccine in order to complete immunization. Can we write active artificial? We write artificially first before we write active. Huh? So why do you need a second dose of vaccine? Because the second dose, as everybody knows, what is your second dose of vaccine called? When you take for Pfizer, you know, what is it called? Booster dose, correct. What is the function of booster dose? Is to stimulate your lymphocytes to produce more antibodies. Why? We have to achieve a thing called, what thing? Okay, because the graph looks something like that. The graph of your vaccine, huh? you increase, and then like that. This is the level of immunity. During the second injection, you can go above the level of immunity. So hence, your purpose is to allow you to go, I mean, to increase antibodies level above the level of immunity. Okay, so to write in sentence, we have to say, first injection. Produce. Low level of antibody from lymphocytes. Second injection. Act as booster dose. It stimulate. lymphocytes oh, sorry more lymphocytes to produce more antibodies to achieve level of immunity when we talk about second injection we have to write Booster dose. Oh, yeah. We have to write booster dose. We have to say stimulate more lymphocytes. 
to produce more antibodies. Stimulate lymphocytes to produce more antibodies. This is something that you have to write when we talk about second injection. Okay, done already. We're going to move to the next question. If you have done, everybody okay? To the level of uh, immunity in Chinese, Achieve the level of immunity. The level of. To produce antibody to achieve level of immunity. This is off. Level of immunity. When do we need to use B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes? You don't have to do this. You don't have to write this in exam. You don't need to write B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes. Okay, next question. 5.3 shows the human community which from herd immunity. Explain how herd immunity stops spreading COVID-19. Okay, what is a herd immunity? Means when everyone else besides you getting vaccination, you are being protected because they will not spread among each other. So when they are not spreading, they will have no chance to spread to you. It's like influenza. If you go for influenza vaccination already, like okay, 10 of you, 8 of you got influenza vaccination. If your friends get it, then maybe you have a chances of getting it. But the thing is, your friend don't get it. Why? Because your friend has influenza vaccination. So herd immunity, high chances is to protect you. Or you want to protect other people. That's why you go for vaccination. People who don't go for vaccination, you only have to hope that your friends get vaccination. It's like influenza. I don't know you guys if you guys get influenza vaccination before or not. So people are getting influenza these days. If you are the one who get influenza, if you get you are the one who get vaccination, you don't think you will have influenza. I mean, I got it lah. So that's why I got no influenza. Ma. You look at my slot mate. Both of them also get influenza. I don't have because I got vaccination before. So now you can protect yourself. You can also protect people around you if you get influenza because you don't get this disease. So to write in sentence, we have to say vaccinated, close contact is not infected with COVID-19. Unvaccinated people get indirect protection from COVID-19. It breaks the chain of spreading the disease. It breaks the chain of spreading the disease. So you have to go back and mean like for, for those who are going for exam chapter 11, right? Because in this question, I didn't include the phagocytosis. You go and study the phagocytosis and also the artificially passive because I didn't I didn't put question related to the anti serum so you have to study the anti serum also yeah okay done already herd immunity means that pe people are getting vaccination so you don't spread the disease from people to people it's called herd immunity so everyone protect you who are not vaccination. Or you protect everyone else when you are being vaccinated. It's called herd immunity. Okay, done. Okay, now we are done with chapter 11 already.